everybody. This is Michelle Schneider. I am on Sandra Hanna's team and I was asked um, what oil I would love to talk about out of a list and myrrh was on a, one of them. And so I of course chose myrrh. I absolutely love myrrh. It's something that I use on a daily basis still to this day. And I'm only going to be discussing three different ways that you can use myrrh but there are countless ways that you can use MERS. So please do not just stop at the three that I'm going to be discussing today. So grab a book. We have great resources. Talk to your upline. Um, there are great, great uses for MER. Um, so the number one um, way that I utilize MER is, most of you might not know, I'm four and a half years out from ovarian cancer. I chose um, to have the surgery, um, but as soon as I was diagnosed, I started using myrrh as a portion of my protocol. Um, so with that, I used it every single day, several times throughout the day. So it's just a wonderful thing to have as a tool and a resource um, at your disposal. Once I had the surgery to have the cancer removed, I did elect not to have chemo or radiation, and I continued to use myrrh with some other oils as my protocol um, to keep the cancer at bay and to just rid my body of the remaining portion, if any, of cancer, because my doctors were very successful on removing the ovaries and they believe they did get all of it. Um, so I'm not recommending that you don't take chemo and you don't do radiation. Cancer is a personal battle. You need to do what's best for you. And these, there are tons of tools out there that you need to utilize for this battle. Um, chemo and radiation being those. So this was just my my personal. You can go onto PubMed or on the truthaboutcancer.com and get more information about that. There is scientific information that shows myrrh attacking cancer cells. So awesome. We need to get that word out. We need to let people know that myrrh is in this wonderful gift that we have in myrrh. So the other way that you can utilize myrrh that is just a wonderful way to do it is lip and gum health and teeth health. So you can utilize it by just putting myrrh on your lips and your gums and, you know, and that's going to just help your teeth and your gum line. Um, I utilize it by making my own lip balm and, and myrrh is one of the oils that's in it and my lips are consistently soft and I don't have to fight with chapped lips. The other way that you can do it is for skin health. This dates back all the way back to the Egyptians. Egyptian women used to put a nubbit of animal fat on top of their head that was drenched in myrrh. And that was under that gold dome that they would consistently wear when they were out. Um, and this was to keep bugs away, um, keep blemishes away, keep from getting sunburned. And look how beautiful those women were. So we can utilize this today in our skin health. So once again, you can utilize it for cancer issues. You can utilize it for gum, teeth, and lip. You can utilize it for skin issues. And I utilize it for all of the above. Um, I do teach classes on um, the oils of the Bible. And so I have a lot of great information that goes a little bit more in depth when it comes to myrrh, that how they used to use it in that time frame and how we can still use it today. So contact your upline, get more myrrh into your system and just enjoy it. The one little tidbit before I go, and I know I'm going a little bit too long, is if your bottle of myrrh gets that little crystallization and it's hard for you to get the lid off, that is excellent. Those crystals are wonderful. Get that lid off, get those crystals, rub it on your belly, put it on your neck and shoulders, get that into your system. If you don't want to mess with that, let me know. I will get you a new bottle of myrrh so you don't have to mess with that. And I'll take your crystallized myrrh. So anyways, once again, there are great resources out there. Contact your upline, contact, um, get a book and just read, research. It's just wonderful. So please get myrrh in, in your um, selection of oils. Have a great day. Have a blessed day.